All right, everyone, this one's going to be a weird one. Uh, I just got off of the six-hour stream for the day 17 of Elden Ring, um, which the title was Discount Sam Claims His Rightful Place as Elden Lord. Uh, I spent what feels like all six hours of that stream fighting the exact same fucking end boss. Uh, I got off stream, uh, stream not even an hour, and um, lo and behold... I went back and tr I looked some stuff up. There was an easy way to beat it. There's a way to make the boss that I've been struggling struggling with, Elden Beast. Yeah, all you have to really do is negate all of his damage by stacking your build exactly correctly. And all of his spells, you can reduce 90% of the damage off of, making him completely useless. And just rushing him will win. On top of that, there is a very overlooked spell... Um, you know what, why don't, why don't I just show you, since, uh, this is gonna be the ending anyway. I wanted to, um, I wanted to prove, I, I just looked something up, I wanted to test it out, it turns out you can do much stuff, and I tried it myself, and, well, this is me having a nice ending to the playlist, pack this on as its own video at the end playlist and I will upload it as, as its own thing I'm not tacking it onto the video I'm not going through video editing software I'll have to use Filmora's watermark uh, I don't feel like doing that but yeah uh, I killed him this is where you end up afterwards it says God slain um, actually I think I might be able to do some janky shit give me two seconds and I might be able to pull up the thing You'd think I'd be ready beforehand since I'm doing this as a, uh, on disk, go, close this, and then if I, mm, how am I going to do this? Okay, so over here, and then this, and then this up. Hold on. I know, I know. More professional, but uh, this is me we're talking about. Uh, why would you ever? Uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. This, I just want proof. I want proof, okay? Let me, let me put my proof up on screen. That. And then if I do this, there you go. Like I said, I have proof. I did actually kill the boss. Right there. You can see it. Elden Remembrance. God slain. Uh, and I got the Elden Remembrance. There you go. I actually did kill the thing and do the thing. It is dead. I did do it. I just did it off screen because I didn't think this would actually work on my first try. And, uh to do it so yeah what i did was turn come to find out i missed this alec drake talisman plus two um in mog's palace area it was down by the birds where i was getting fucked up um so i equipped this and i equipped this and then i used this really really neat spell that i did not know i owned because it's a buff spell and i don't fucking pay attention to buff spells uh, called Lord's Divine Fortification that you can buy after you kill um Durang or whatever uh, and it greatly increases holy damage negation in yourself and allies that plus this talisman and this talisman mean that Elden Beast plus your flask of uh, physique that has the opaline heart tier, if I'm not mistaken, that does non-physical. This one, um, boost all damage negation. Really boost all damage negation. Yeah, uh, basically mean 90% of the damage that he does is just not there anymore, and it doesn't count, and you don't have to worry about it. So, yeah, some bullshit, but. That's how it works. And then, turns out this spell 
does physical damage, right? So, uh, but a, a neat little thing that they don't mention for this spell, uh, pest threads, uh, that only really comes into come play with big bosses is that spell will do more damage the longer it's inside of a model. AKA, if you're standing next to the fucking Elden Beast, it can do like 5k damage. Very easily. Uh, oh, this must be the rest of Melina. Yeah, or Marika. And this must be Summon Ronnie. So, let's get to the ending. Let's see how the fuck this plays out. I can't use uh, Waifu Sword, but I am going to dress for the occasion. Uh, I think Black Knife is how I'm going to go in the end. I'm going to equip it just because I can. And... Honestly, it's been with us the entire time. I think I have to do actually go with it. We started off as a samurai. Now we're some edgy assassin with a shield that we've been carrying since the actual start of the game. See the end of the game, guys. The end of the game. I'm very happy right now. Dead. Today. I don't have to worry about it anymore. The battle is over, I see. Yee. A bitch and a half, six hours. Like, constant. Lights, I still have a headache, dude. I haven't gotten a drink, I haven't gotten up. Get up. That back now. You gonna bring her back? Ronnie did say she wanted to kill death. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here Beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness, as the path stretcheth into darkness. Her phantom. <laughs> the hood and a ghost hood. Let us go together. My dear Consort Eternal. We became the moon and the sky and the stars. Happy. Age of the Stars achievement. Fuck you and that broken ass boss unless you do it perfect. Fuck it. Yeah, that's the end of the series. I hope you all, all enjoyed Elden Ring and I hope you forgive me for that last fucking upload. Uh, day 17. Jesus Christ. It's been a long one, but it's been a good one. This game is fucking amazing. Sketchy ending, but... Holy shit, is this game good. There's stuff that I haven't done. There's a whole area I haven't seen on screen. Uh, if you want to see it, go look it up or do it yourself. <laughs> I'll probably do it in my own time just to get some other endings and stuff. But thank you everyone for showing up. Thank you everyone for participating in the journey. Uh, if you've left a comment on the videos, 
Thank you. <laughs> I probably didn't read it. Uh, <laughs> mainly because I'm not doing that. I try to respond to all the comments I get, but heck. Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is Discord as always. I always I hate having notifications, so I always make sure that uh, they're all caught up. On Discord at least, because I'll see them uh, frequently. But yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you're okay with the ending. Uh, I hope you love Discount Sam and his journey. I'm happy with the ending because I actually got one and I didn't have to fucking quit the game without beating the final fucking boss. And if I knew about the fucking thing, I wouldn't have had to redo my build and get more help. But hey, the more you know, the more you know. Could have done this without compromising my... Uh, morals and integrity and done a glass cannon all the way to the end but I didn't I failed but hey maybe you'll do better I hope you do special thanks to all those people who have been here the entire dream summer uh Tome who's made this entire journey fun I fun for the fucking moral support silver for the emote that came up while we were doing this hell yes don't forget about that you see any um uh, Hydra, the mod, who's been out here. Yugi for pissing me off. Uh, Palm for losing his VIP and gaining it back on the Borderlands stream, or Wonderland stream, sorry, uh, yesterday. It's been a journey. It's happened. It's 17 fucking days. Two full weeks. Jesus Christ. It's, it's been a long, long journey to become Elven Lord. It was worth it. But, and I've heard someone say, and I fully agree with this, I don't want the game to end. I mean, I do, but at the same time, I don't. The only reason I want the game to end is because I want to do other games. I feel... I, it's so addicting. It's so good that I can't keep it out of my head. It's constantly everywhere, and I love it. But I want to do other things. I want to play other games with my friends. Um, and now I have to do other streams and stuff. And as much as I love this game, I, I need to move on or else I'll be here forever. It's such a deep pit that's so good. Like all the Dark Souls games. Even, and Bloodborne. Don't forget Bloodborne. The worst part of this game, though, the truly worst part of this game is going to be the fact that no other game's gonna live up to it for a long time. And that's a problem with all Dark Souls. All, the whole time. The whole fucking time. Every time a Dark Souls ends, you just don't have anything else like it. I mean, they're Souls-like. They made a whole fucking thing about Souls-likes. But, at the end of the day, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, Elden Ring. Nothing hits like they do. Miyazaki has a fucking way. Sekiro doesn't count. Fuck Sekiro. That's a completely different thing, and it should not be considered a soul. But it just hits a certain way, and nothing's going to be as good as this for a long time. It sucks. It really does. And the... I think the truly worst part about this is this game came out complete. Something we don't see today. We don't see in games today. This game came out complete. 100% there. They patched some stuff in. They, they made a patch like the first week and they added content, new storylines, uh, fixed content, added new weapons, added all this shit, right? And didn't ask money for it. Thank you, thank you, uh, for pulling me out of the game and fucking up. More than likely. Um, they didn't ask money for it. This is completely, you get the whole package all at once, and there's not been a DLC yet. And there's no microtransactions either. You just don't see shit like that today. You really don't. And there's not gonna be another one like it because just don't make games like that no more. People don't make games like this. Even though it's so good. 
hopefully the hype and the people who play this will realize that this is the much better way of doing it and maybe this is the change that we all wanted but at the end of the day time to move on it's time to play something else so i will see you all in the next game and when i do see you i'll say hi to you Thank you all for sharing this journey with me. It's been like no other. And I'm proud to say I fucking did it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Thank you everyone. Honestly, I I'm just so happy. Thank you. <laughs>